What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about Virgin Galactic. I want to go over some of the current data points as well. Talk about some of the discrepancies that is kind of popping up in my head at least based on the recent 10K. So I'm going to go over all that. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So based on Friday, it did go up 1.84%. Very volatile day. So it had $1.73 as the high, $1.63 as the low. And for volume, 26 6.5 million shares were traded 9.3 is the average and that all was based off of this news right here even though if you kind of read through it it wasn't necessarily the best um, so once again as I pointed out in the past a lot of the daily volume for Virgin Galactic does come from algorithmic trading. So in my opinion, I feel like this was being interpreted as positive, despite it being nothing really of substance. There's absolutely nothing in this kind of to justify buying Virgin right now. And so as you can kind of see right here, there was no transactions on the secondary market above $100,000. So it is fair to assume that AI was just kind of driving it higher and maintain that. I'll touch on what shorts did and everything else, but that was the latest news aside from that though you do have this right here a couple sec filings and so based on this so it was all done uh, yesterday so meaning friday after hours and oddly enough i do see some people talking on reddit saying that this is a bullish signal and so i just wanted to briefly talk on this because in reality, not to burst people's bubbles because I'm very uh, behind the scenes. I want Virgin to really succeed. Just on this channel, I like to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. If something looks bad, I bring it up. So I just wanted to kind of address this because if you do open up the form four, there's quite a few of them, as I pointed out, all of these right here. But this was essentially for restricted stock. Um, so they were acquired, meaning they were given by the company. So these individuals did not buy them on their own accord. It was just part of their compensation package. So it's kind of good that I guess insiders have shares essentially or future shares because they are restricted for a, kind of a, a locked period. Period, but still is it a reason to go out and buy virgin not so much so this is very important to make sure you guys always do your own due diligence and not always trust this essentially but all in all though there was this 10k that did come out that I just wanted to break it down and so of course when I was looking at the price action of Virgin and for the longest time, it's always lagged. And I've kind of questioned that. It's like, do people have zero expectations for Virgin or what is kind of the issue? And so I started to read through that 10K and there was a lot more risks included this time around than in previous. So that is obviously sometimes justified, but still it did make me kind of read through a lot of that. And one thing that stood out to me, and plus I think 2024 is all about liquidity nobody wants to invest in a company despite it having a lot of good potential growth nobody wants to invest in a company that is going to dilute and so when it comes down to virgin it does show uh, that december 31st or as of december 31st they did generate about 287.5 million in proceeds and so that was good um, i think i've brought that up in the past but essentially based on this earnings it did say as of december 31st 2023, they had 216 or rounding up $217 million in cash and cash equivalents. So essentially, something just does not add up. And based on the last earnings, they burnt through roughly about $448.19 million. So as well, if you kind of go back over here, it does say it right here. I kind of highlighted, we believe that we will have sufficient liquidity available to fund our business needs, commitments, and contractual obligations for the next 12 months. So they do feel that this cash right here is sufficient. And so I don't know. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm not an idiot at the same time because Things just do not seem to jive. How can they say that they have sufficient amount of cash for the next 12 months, but yet based on the cash that they have on hand, they it just doesn't seem like it's even sufficient for this quarter, let alone maybe even half into next quarter. So I think something just does not jive. And the fact that Richard Branson in 2023, or it might have been early 2024, did come out and say that he is not going to be providing any more money to Virgin, 
Well, guess what? That's a huge red flag, right? Because he wouldn't even be saying that essentially if they were good logically for the next 12 months. So just something just doesn't add up in my opinion. Um, let me know if I am unjustified or if there's some aspect that I am missing about this because A plus B does not equal anything right now. It's just not really adding up correctly. So let me know your thoughts on that. As far as this goes, uh, there hasn't been any recent analyst ratings. So there was quite a few associated to their recent earnings. So last one was by TD Cohen Oliver, who does have a 52% success rating, gave a $2.50 price target. And just wanted to give you a quick overview of the latest Morningstar report, which I do believe came out late last week but it does show the fair market value being four dollars and four cents for virgin galactic so that's kind of a good thing i just wanted to share that with you as well but going over some of the current data points starting off with shorts so on friday shorts did increase 2.21 million shares so as I've brought up in previous videos, a lot of the volume is algorithmic trading and shorts. So unfortunately, long investors still do not believe in Virgin. I don't know if it has something to do with something along the lines that I'm bringing up the fact that their earnings just don't seem to jive or maybe there is some other external factor. I'm not really sure. But aside from that though, 23.79% of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 87.26 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is 1.25% and utilization is 77.38. And the sad thing about Virgin is a lot of growth stocks get massacred eventually by shorts. And but yet a lot of the data and fundamentals of those companies are kind of squeeze plays, meaning if a company does come out with something of substance, then yeah, you know what, shorts actually might kind of retrace and close out their positions. But with Virgin, like the data just does not really even justify a squeeze because cost of borrow average is 1.25%, utilization is 77.38. And it's just there's nothing coming up from the company itself that is going to be a surprise catalyst to prompt shorts closing out some of the positions. So I think all in all, just it is a very sad situation for Virgin because I originally did have a lot of high expectations for them. As of right now, through Interactive Broker, short availability does indicate around 100,000 shares is available to be shorted. And just to give you a quick overview, so as of right now, there was, or I guess more so on Friday, $412,000 in puts being purchased versus 74 in calls. But sentiment wise, 79% of all the options being done on Friday were bearish. So that is not necessarily the best. And I think it does have to do with more of the technicals, more of a breakdown as far as that. But of the call options that were purchased on Friday, there's a consensus for it to be roughly around $1.50 by the end of next week. So even the optimistic calls are somewhat bearish. So that's not good by any means. Uh, looking at puts though, it is anticipated to be sub $1.00 by April. And like I already pointed out, there's been no transactions on the secondary market above $100,000. These are the some of the transactions that have been occurring on the dark pool. Dark pool very much used by shorting and bigger institutions. So as you can kind of see, this one is a very, very popular and more specifically even on Friday. So there was quite a few right there. But when it comes down to the technicals, let's talk on that for a second. So right now with it at $1.66, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So $1.64 is going to be that next strong support that you'll want to watch for it to hold. Vice versa, $1.78 will be the next strong resistance. Next week, I believe it is on Wednesday, the Fed's going to be making their interest rate decision. I don't anticipate any change, but I do anticipate a lot of volatility as far as what is going to be said afterwards. Because the market has been kind of holding on to a lot of hope that there is going to be rates cuts sooner rather than later so once again that could really help a virgin behind the scenes but again dependent on what is said it could really cause a lot of damage as well so let me know your thoughts on that but moving on looking on the actual chart on friday it did transition or at least attempted to transition from the lower to the higher percentile of the bollinger band 
but there wasn't really enough substance there. And like I said, most of the volume was kind of done by algorithmic trading. So no real strong support levels being created. Looking on the stochastic, you do see it at 20. So if there is a good piece of news that does come out, then in theory, you could see a rush of value investors essentially. So that again, could be a very good sign. Despite all of that though, you do see a bearish deviation. So the red line above the white, and so again, going into next week, not much optimism, but you can kind of tell that based on the options. But aside from that though, looking as well at the momentum indicator, you can see just the number of retail investors have been getting out. And normally zero is that kind of uh, transition point. So anything above zero does show new investors getting in. Anything below that does typically show kind of more investors leaving virgin and so over or actually most of the time it looks like they're just leaving and that is very very unfortunate so i think all in all virgin definitely does need to address quite a few things before it does really incentivize a lot more retail and institutional investors to get back in so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that one final thing, take advantage of this promo. So just sign up for a new account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So take advantage of this, link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.